Hello, hello. This is Infect and I wanted to show you my new sample pack, Infect Rhythm Toolkit Volume 1. And when I go through splice samples, I usually look for something that inspires me, that kind of gives me an idea. And so I found that I wanted to create something that does that for you, that is inspiring, that when you click through the sounds, you kind of come up with an idea in your head or you feel like you're, you get excited to actually work and open Ableton and start working on a project. So that was the idea behind the pack. Hopefully I can achieve that. That would be awesome. But yeah, let's take a look at, at the different categories of sounds that I have. So first of all, we have an atmosphere category, basses, claps, cymbals, FX, hi-hats, intro, kicks, percussion, processed recordings, risers, subs, and vocals. So all of these sounds are basically everything that you need to make a rhythm track, both old school as well as modern rhythm. Atmosphere is usually stuff that I put in the background, like behind my basses to make it sound less empty, but also in my intros. So if we just look at a few of these. Yeah, we have a whole bunch of these like very vibey atmosphere sounds that kind of go in the background. Some interesting titles here as well, such as Ship Stop, Ringing Glass, and one of my personal favorites, Oh Wowza 2. So yeah. Um, then we have basses, uh, lots of different bass sounds for, so you have a supply for resampling for granular synthesizers, for further post-processing, stretching, all that good stuff. So as you can hear, we have all kinds of stuff in here. There's some really old school rhythm type of stuff. There are some modern, more spectral sound design and like all kinds of different types of sounds. We have some weird, intense. Lots of different flavors here. And, and of course, with all of these samples, you can go check them out on Splice. It's out now. So yeah, if you want to hear some more of them, go ahead. And a lot of these already have a flow because like I said, I wanted people to get an idea or wanted you to get an idea when you're listening to these, like something that you might have in your head that you could do with them or you can get excited about like the possibilities with it. So if you hear it kind of in a little bit of a context with a flow, I think that can help you. To, to get there, to get to that point. Let me show you this one as well. That's a spectral sound design one. Some like crazy stuff in there. So yeah, you can go check the rest for yourself. Then we have the claps category. Obviously we have different types of drums and we have claps. I, I don't usually use snares, so I only included claps in here. We have kicks, hi-hats, and cymbals. So that should be all you need for a rhythm track. And then I've also included some percussion for fills and stuff like that. So let's check out some of these claps. So yeah, lots of stuff. and. I haven't included any drum loops because I think that they're so easy to put together and I think it's always more fun to make make them yourself. If you want to include loops, you can grab them from other packs. Like sometimes I like to layer some percussive loops on top of my uh, own drums and things like that. But I'm better at processing uh, like the kick and the clap really well and the, the hats and, and cymbals and sounds like that. So I've included a whole selection of sounds in here that you can use that are to be layered with kicks. So all, basically where the claps get their energy from is from them being layered with a kick. So that's why I designed all of these claps to be compatible with kicks when they're layered with the kicks from, from the kicks category. 
Also, again, some great titles like slapping your tire, whatever that means. I guess it has that little basketball ring to it. So, yeah. Rattlesnake. Next up, symbols. So these are some longer open hi-hats, rides, and stuff like that. They're really great for switches, like if you want to add some symbols to your switches to emphasize the flow more, yeah, you can um, use some of these. Arrange them in quarter notes, half notes, whatever you like. Nice. Next up, FX. We have lots and lots of glitch sounds because when I go through splice, I found that those are the ones that I find really inspiring and they're also really great for uh, resampling and putting them in granular synthesizers. Like if you know me, you'll know that I really love granular. And so these are some things that you can import into your own granular synth, whether you have form, patch up, fruity granulizer, granulator two, uh, any of those. And you can make some crazy stuff with it because they're a nice basis uh, to work with. But you can also just use them as they are, of course. Well, I love that 8-bit one there. So yeah, lots of crazy... Just picking some random ones here. Again, with the titles, Happy Birthday, Cabbage. I forgot how I came up with that, but I think it sounds like when you crush cabbage or something like that. I don't know. Intergalactic radio, also very descriptive. Like that a lot. Little zap. So yeah, lots of stuff to work with here. Hopefully enough to for you to find some inspiration. Then we have the hi-hats and yeah, they're... Lots of them are pretty raw. Some of them have a bit of a longer tail. But they shouldn't really need a lot of processing. Then we have intro sounds. So these are just some builds and some melody ideas that I that I've put together for you to work with so you can like build intros out of them. There's some stuff like that, like that's rising up. Yeah, you get the idea. Then we have kicks. These are pretty important because I think kicks are pretty integral to the sound of dubstep, like to the energy, especially in the punch. I mean, that's what gets people to move in a club. So I, I've, I've labeled them with the key whenever it made sense, with the note that they're on whenever it made sense. Um, on some of them, it doesn't really make sense because the way that a ki kick works is it has a pitch ramp that goes from high to low. And when it goes really fast and it ends up being on one certain note, then it makes sense to also write the note there because then it's tuned. Whereas if the pitch curve is a bit longer or if it's a really short kick, then you don't really need to tune it um, because all you want is that like punch from the kick anyways. So it's not very tonal. But if we listen to these. Yeah, I tried to make them as punchy as possible, have a lot of low end because I really like that in my kicks when they're very like punchy, lots of low end, and they really come kick through the mix, kick through the mix, there you go. <laughs> yeah, some clean ones, some more old school sounding ones, some with some more clicky high end for those modern tracks where like when you have very bright basses, I find that also a kick that has a more clicky sound that has some more high frequencies works better. Whereas like for the old school style where you might have less highs in your basses, you might go with a kick that also has less highs. Percussion, just some random stuff that you can use for like fills or maybe your drum pattern to make it a bit more interesting here. So I have like some donks. 
some little stuff that's interesting for fills and breaks and stuff like that. Maybe even intros. Processed recordings is an interesting one. This is me walking around with a field recorder, recording some stuff that I've found around the house. Like here you can see a teapot. Machine gun is not something that I have. <laughs> Glass, then we have a zipper. Um, I, I remember I took like a cardboard thing as well and recorded that cardboard box. There it is. So yeah, um, and then they're pretty heavily processed. Like on some of them, you can hear OTT and a whole bunch of effects. And I think they sound really interesting. So maybe they can inspire you to use for basses and stuff like that. See, that sounds like a, a bass sound pretty much, but it was just like a glass object that I recorded. And I also arranged them a bit, again, to give you an idea of a flow, maybe some inspiration. I like that little hydraulic one a lot. There you have it, a zipper. That's a zipper. Can you believe it? Sounds like a dragon. <laughs> to me, at least. And we have risers. So when we... It's just a few risers. Like, I have some tonal ones, like this one. And here, five semitones means that it goes up five semitones. And that's useful because if you want to add other sounds to it, other rising things, and you know that by the end of the of the riser, you need to have pitched your sound up five semitones as well to give it a similar rising sound. That one is seven semitones, so it rises more in pitch. Then we have one that's called down and up. It's just some white noise. This is always used for full for switches and FX stuff just to kind of build tension, release tension, and things like that. We have an engine sound. That's one of my favorites, personally, because it really has it like wipe out techy, futuristic aesthetic that I love. Then we have subs. So the ba a lot of the basses already have low frequencies, so if you want to use those, you can. But you can also cut them away and use one of the subs. If you find that it's not present enough, for example, you can take either a loop or a one-shot sub. So these are kind of like 808 style. So lots of sounds. You can also see that most of them have the note that they're on um, written in the title. And you can just put them as a sub and arrange them as you like. Some of them have more harmonics, some of them have less, some of them are really distorted. We have some loops as well, just so like if you have eighth notes, for example, you can take this one, which is called eighths in German, which is Achtel, and take that. Some of them don't have the note because they're actually pitch bent a bit, and I think that's really interesting for uh, club speakers, because if you have a bit of a pitch bend on your subs, then it'll make it sound more energetic and it gives it more movement and I really like that. So if you have a bass sound that is not very tonal, you don't necessarily need to match the sub with the pitch of the bass sound. And most of the bass sounds in here are not that tonal, they're pretty atonal. So you can basically take most of these subs, I mean use your ears and, and see if they're compatible, but yeah, a lot of them you can just match them up. So yeah, these loops have have a pattern in them. Crazy movement is one of the ones that I like a lot here. And there you can see that an example of that pitch bend that kind of moves like up, and that's what gives it that like nice movement. And lastly, we have the vocal section, and I have to give out a give a big shout outs to my wife Andy on this one because she actually recorded a lot of these vocals for me and she did an amazing job. <laughs> Some of them are super hilarious. So first of all, we have the groceries section. Dub plates are on sale today. Dub plates are on sale today. So yeah, we have a whole bunch of like random funny ones this in here. This is exclusive. Welcome to the Rhythm Shop. But also some very useful ones, like this is exclusive, I like that a lot. Exclusive. Then we have 
the infect section, which are the vocals that I recorded myself. A lot of them are also processed. So we have something like, don't rip this tune. Don't rip this tune. Don't rip this tune or Santa will bring you coals for Christmas. Yeah, some funny stuff as well. Exclusive. Spinach! This one is staying in the vault. This is a dub plate. So yeah, with the vocals, I was... I. I'm always looking for vocals when I go on Splice and there's not that much other than like video game samples and those are great, but I feel like I wanted to release something that's more dubstep specific, that's a bit more focused, that's also a little bit fun. So yeah, these are, this is basically that. <laughs> then we have over here rhythm dubstep, which are again, just like funny ones, useful ones, like this literally sounds exactly like all of the other rhythm tracks. A little bit of a play on like YouTube comments and stuff like that. There you go. I wouldn't consider rhythm dubstep. Rhythm is not dubstep. Dubstep is so boring since rhythm arrived. It's the same sounds over and over again. So yeah, out to all the haters. <laughs> Then we have some road rage ones. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Come on. This is stupid. That was so stupid. I think those are really useful for like when you have little interruptions and fills and things like that. Before a switch, maybe you have a little silent gap and you just add a sample like that and it's perfect. Then we have some robotic ones. Error. Boot sequence interrupted. I I love stuff like that. Like that's what I'm looking for on Splice when I look for sounds. Download sound. sequence started. So we have launching, reboot, starting up. We have quite a bunch of these. Watch in here. out! Wheel. We come in peace. Also, some useful ones like wheel switch. The switch ones switch. are great. Switch, switch, switch. So yeah, check them out. Again, thank you so much to Andy. <laughs> but yeah, so that's it. That's the pack. You can check it out on Splice. You can download the whole pack if you want to. I appreciate that very much and it helps out. If you have some credits racked up, go ahead and splurge on the pack. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really appreciate the support on this. If you have any stuff, if you make tracks with these, Send them to me on Instagram. There's a chance that I'll go check them out. Um, obviously, I don't have the time to check out everything I get, but I'll do my best. If you want to learn how to make a track with these, how to put them together, how to do the mix down, how to do sound design yourself, check out my masterclass. I have an extensive masterclass where I talk about everything, how to make a track from start to finish on through my Patreon. Yeah, so I hope you'll find some inspiration with this pack. I hope you'll get some good results with it. Thank you for all the support, and I'll see you soon. Peace. Have fun. <laughs>